Hey guys, welcome to our channel where we give quick tips as parents of three to help with everyday life. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing my um, journey to stop breastfeeding. So basically, I've been breastfeeding for many months now and I'm ready to be done with that. And so I just wanna share some things that I've done to dry up my milk and slowly ease into stopping um, so that I don't have to use cabbage or any of those other things or any kind of um, pill or anything like that. So I'm just able to naturally dry up the milk. Um, and so I wanna share those things with you, but also before I get started, um, I wanna remind you to hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more videos from the Family Five Quick Tips. And if you wanna be notified when we release new videos on Tuesday mornings, hit the bell. Okay, so before I get started on how I have um, started stopping, does that even make sense? Um, before I start sharing with you how I stopped the milk supply, um, I just wanna share a little bit about my journey um, through breastfeeding. So we have three kids and I've breastfed all of them. And with my third baby, this is so bittersweet because I feel like the whole process has been much easier this time around. And because of COVID and the shutdowns, um, I've been working from home, um, which, you know, there's a blessing in everything. So for us with COVID, um, we've really gotten to, we've really had the chance to be home with our baby a lot more. And so with that, I was able to nurse him um, more often um, rather than pumping and sending bottles to school. And so for me, that has been such a great bonding experience and I've really enjoyed it. Just being experienced with breastfeeding has really made me more relaxed this time and being able to do it more. The whole thing has been really great for me. And so um, coming up to this point where I've decided to stop, um, I just feel a lot of things. I feel excitement, I feel guilt, sadness, all the things. So I just wanna encourage everyone out there if you're having the same feelings that you're not alone, that I feel them too, and maybe you can encourage me back. Comment below if you feel any of the things that I'm feeling. But um, just there's a, there's a lot of things. Like I feel a little guilty because I'm choosing to stop. It's not like my milk supply is dried up. It's I'm saying I'm ready to stop and I feel guilty. Um, I feel excited because um, I am not able to have dairy um, I do a little bit, but like I don't have a lot of dairy because it causes my babies to um, have reflux. And so I haven't been having, I've been having to be super careful with some of the things that I eat. Um, after, when I was on maternity leave, I was working out, but after I went back to work, it was a lot for me to do with having a baby, working out and actually working. Um, and so I'm hoping that with um, stopping um, breastfeeding and all of that, that that gives me, frees up a little bit more time for me and even energy so that I'll have the energy to work out again. And so just all of those things are just kind of running through my head. And so I feel like I go back and forth between, oh, I'm so sad, oh, I'm excited, or, you know, it's okay, it's not okay. So all of those things. So anyways, if you're feeling any of that, you're not alone, but I think the thing we all should remember is it's up to you. If you make the decision to stop, and that's the best decision for you. Um, whatever the decision is, if the milk's drying up, if you just choose to, whatever it is, um, fed is best, feed your baby, and that's what matters the most. Okay, so with that, just wanted to share with you the process that I've uh, taken with all of my kids, all three of them, um, in order to stop this without any pain or discomfort or anything like that. So um, it's pretty simple actually. So when I decided that I was gonna stop breastfeeding, I chose to um, begin pumping more and less nursing just so that I could um, make sure he was getting bottles and I knew that he was getting like six ounces each time. And then it was easier for me to cut out pumping sessions rather than nursing sessions. So let me explain that a little bit more. So let's say that I was um, pumping five times a day, like morning, evening, and then three times throughout the day. So what I ended up trying to do is just being left with that pump in the morning, the pump in the evening, and then lunchtime. So I had those two other pumping sessions that I was doing during the day. So what I did was I stopped one of them and then I waited about four or five days of just pumping all the other times that I was pumping and then not that one. And then after about the four or five days, I, I stopped pumping that other time, um, that like mid morning pump that I was doing. So then what I was left with was morning when I, when I woke up, I would pump lunchtime and then in the evening before I would go to bed. So my suggestion would be however you end up stopping, it's kind of good to be left with that morning, evening and lunchtime so that as soon as you wake up in the morning, you can um, get the milk out and not feel so full midday and then right before you go to bed so you can be comfortable when you go to sleep. 
So then I decided to cut out that lunchtime pumping session and then I waited about four or five days and then I decided to cut out that evening pumping session. But before I just cut out the last one, uh, the evening pumping session, I would, when I would pump at night, I wouldn't pump all the milk out. So I would, so whereas before I was trying to get every single drop, ladies, you know what I'm talking about, like every drop of milk when I was pumping, but when I was, you know, trying to stop, I would pump for maybe like three minutes rather than five minutes. So I wasn't getting all the milk, which was then reducing the amount that I was producing. And then eventually after that four or five days, I stopped um, pumping in the evening. And then same thing um, about four or five days later is when I stopped that morning pumping session. But during those four or five days, I wasn't pumping all the milk out. I was pumping for three minutes instead of five minutes or something like that so that my body would finally just stop producing it. And so then um, on the last time that I ended up pumping, I just pumped for about like two minutes just to get a little bit out. And then um, I haven't pumped since. So basically what happens is your body just, it just the milk just dries up. And so um, there was no pain. I just eased into it, went um, you know, four or five days in between cutting out the pumping times, or if you're, if you're not pumping and you're just nursing, I would say just, um, give the bottles and then cut out the pumping or, and then cut out the nursing like I did the pumping. So if you just spread it out like that, your body naturally just stops producing as much milk and then it makes it comfortable. You don't have to take any pills to dry up the milk or anything like that. You just did it naturally. Um, meaning that you just weren't feeding as much, you know, like in the beginning, whenever you are, um, starting to breastfeed your baby, they say feed your baby as often as you can to build up your supply. Basically, you're doing the opposite of that at this point. So, um, so I hope this helped you guys. Um, like I said, I am done and um, it feels weird, but I'm gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay too. Um, I hope this helps and you're able to end this journey happy and feeling um, accomplished and feeling good that you were able to do something for your baby like this. And uh, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to see more from the Family Five Quick Tips. Thanks for watching, guys.